Hello from Nairobi, Kenya, the headquarters of the United Nations Environment Programme. Education shapes not only our identities and our values, it also shapes our future. With an education, anything is possible. But the education we've had is no longer the education we need. The existential crisis of climate change requires us to be more creative, more collaborative in how we teach, coach and mentor young people to take on what comes next. And as we have seen with Greta Thunberg and movements across the world, young people aren't going to wait. And for me, that is a tremendous source of hope. They are holding my generation to account. And at the UN Environment Programme, we are working with universities and other partners to take environmental education out to millions of people across the world. Through our work in leading the Youth and Education Alliance, we are working to aid a better understanding of environment and environmental dimensions. Building on the movement of hundreds of thousands of children who are taking the Tide Turner's Plastic Challenge badge, we are working together to make that happen. And supporting universities to become clean, green and sustainable across the world. And we all know the stakes are high, because in just five years, it is estimated that 262 million students will be enrolled in higher education. And the two biggest concerns that young people have is what kind of planet will be passed to them from their parents and what jobs will be available to them. We need our education system to be giving young people the opportunity to apply the learning across all subjects so that no matter if you are an MBA student or a mechanical engineer, we can all work in greener jobs. The ILO estimates that the transformation to a greener economy could generate up to 60 million additional jobs globally by 2030, with 24 million of these based on addressing climate change, in particular energy. This is a huge opportunity to transition to a cleaner, brighter planet. At the recent climate summit in New York, we heard from the Secretary General of the United Nations that the time for action is now and that the window that we have to change the future is closing. Education will be a critical pillar in not only addressing the climate crisis, but also in delivering the Sustainable Development Goals. So I wish you good luck in the discussion at the World Environment Education Congress, and I look forward to working together so that we can shape that future we want.